What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. So, I'm going to need my shotgun because we're going to be dealing with a couple of liquors here in a little bit. And seeing how it's the lab section of the game, we're going to be dealing with the evolved liquors. Now, the difference between the evolved and the normal liquors is that evolved liquors typically have more health and do more damage. Also, some slight differences in the models. For example, normal liquors have four claws on each hand, where the evolved liquors have one giant singular claw on each hand. Take him out. All right. So we're going to run over here. This is where we find the switch to direct the power into the elevator, granting us access to the main area of the lab. Now, I highly recommend you grab the shotgun parts before coming down here. And the reason why is because, well, if you're just using the normal shotgun, it's going to take you four to five shots just to put down a single evolved liquor. But with the upgraded shotgun, typically it'll take you two. If you're lucky and score a critical hit, it'll one shot a liquor. You really want to aim for those critical hits, especially in a scenario where you're going to be scrounging up for rounds. I clearly don't need it. Because uh, I farm Mr. X. It's always best to farm Mr. X in B scenario because he just gives you rounds like hotcakes for downing him. You want to grab your weapon box key. The reason why is because uh, that will get you access to the magnum parts to upgrade the magnum. Which comes in handy during the Mr. X and Birkin Final Form fights. Go ahead and hop in the elevator. Hit the control panel and down we go. There's going to be a couple zombies in this room. If you angle your shotgun right, you could score. Hang on. There we go. Double headshot. Going to be two more. You can actually pull this off on both these guys too. Like that. One more round for you, bud. Keep in mind for this room because uh Sherry's in this room. And during the end game, you have to run back and grab her. So we're gonna be going back through that room eventually. And there's a couple shotgun rounds and magnum rounds I want to pick up in there too. Ada? Where did she go? Well, uh, Ada's gone. So now we gotta go deeper into the hive to find her. Or not the hive, the nest. Hive is the name of the lab in the Paul W.S. Anderson films. Which the first movie was alright. It's just that after that it started to become crap, essentially. Especially Apocalypse, because. I did love Nemesis in that movie. It's just that stupid love plot that they gave Nemesis that ruined it for me. I was hoping Nemesis and freaking Jill were about to square up at the end of the movie, but now nah, I became Alice and Nemesis. God, that movie was trash. Ugh. Anyway. We gotta get the fuse, power up the laboratory. Got a first aid spray there. Grab the fuse. Now speedrunners hate this freaking thing. So do I. Because it takes 25 seconds for this to get done. 
And when you're doing a speed run where every second counts, this can really bleed you. <sighs> All that for a fuse. Not like, you know, you could just combine them together and make the fuse and then power up the lab, but all right. And do know, I did say I'm going to be doing for Survivor. I know first aid sprays bring down your rank. But. Actually, I might as well show you this little trick here. So, seeing how I'm playing the PS2 version of the game, if you hit key configuration, hold R1 and hit square 10 times. If you saw the manual thing icon on the screen turn red we back out open up the inventory we got infinite ammo if you're playing the gamecube version of re2 hold r1 and hit this z button 10 times and it'll also give you an infinite ammo do note infinite ammo does not affect your rank in this game so you can just cheese it use infinite ammo to get those a ranks and then unlock for survivor but to turn it off go back to key configuration hold r1 hit the square button 10 times wait for the manual icon to go back to normal and like that infinite ammo is turned off oh yeah we gotta throw the fuse in here so if i don't A rank this, and you do need an A rank in both A and B scenario. At this point, S rank doesn't exist. You need those to unlock the Force Survivor. And then when you beat Force Survivor, you'll unlock Tofu. I'm not playing Tofu. I'll show off Force Survivor, but Tofu's a little bit of a gimmick after that. Don't open that shutter door. Come over here. Get your shotgun ready because there's going to be a zombie right in your face as soon as you enter. Go. One for you too. Go ahead and grab the key card. Now. If you're called an A scenario, this is where the gas sprinkler system is. You hit yes. Now all the enemies in the area have less health and do less damage. Save it for B scenario. You also get a flamethrower in this locker. This is your ivy killer. This is real handy in dealing with the ivies. And the reason why I want to save the gas sprinkler for B scenario, if you use it in A scenario, yeah, it does the same effects, but when you start a B scenario and come here, all the enemies are going to be stronger. And the IVs will start doing poison damage as well. Uh oh. He blocked a shot for his friend. Jeez. If you're this far in this in the game, blue herbs are quite rare and getting poison at this point will be a death sentence, if I'm being honest. But hey, if you want to do a challenge, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and equip our flamethrower. So if we activate these shutters now, there's gonna be two ivies hiding behind here. He's gonna hit me with that acid. There we go. It's also gonna be another one as soon as you go through the store. 
Just roast him. Grab this herb. Now don't mind the giant plant in the middle. That's plant 43. If you remember in the original Resident Evil, he fought a boss called plant 42. This is technically his younger brother. Although he's just there for background purposes. You don't actually fight him, which is kind of a waste of an opportunity. Because Resident Evil 2 doesn't really have that much bosses in it. Just, uh, we'll say Birkin's first form. Or second, third, fourth, and final form. And of course, Mr. X. That's about it. You also got the G mutant, but he's kind of a pushover as well. Grab an herb. Come down here. Now, if you need a map for the area, the map's right here. Maps do come in handy in most of these Resident Evil games. Gonna deposit that. Deposit that. I'm still gonna need that. Got that mini boss we gotta take care of too. Take a left. The red herb down here. We go through the store. This is where we're going to use our weapons locker key. Blue glowing lock locker over here. Use it. And we get the magnum parts. Come in here, there's gonna be a couple zombies. Knock, knock. Closer off of with his head. If we come over here and we grab the power room key. There's still some stuff we could do around here in the lab though. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock all that stuff out before we go to the power room and essentially beat the game. If we come all the way down here, keep in mind it's going to be raining larva as soon as you go through here. Just run straight to the door and you'll avoid them. We got our mini boss, a giant moth. If you have the flamethrower, you'll do short work of him. There we go. Also with our flamethrower. Clear off the computer. Username is guest. Register our fingerprint. Now we gain access to the employee area. Good. Oh no, we don't need to reload our shotgun. There's gonna be a liquor as soon as we exit this area. 
like going back the way we came. Go ahead and open the box. I have no more use for the flamethrower. It's going in there. Where's my magnum? There it is. And there we go. We're of course going to save that for later. Yeah, I got 42 magnum rounds. I Yeah, Mr. X is done for. <laughs> He's not going to be happy. Same with Birkin. be a liquor coming up. There he is. Drop him real quick. Go and grab the rest of these herbs. completely done with the west area. Now we gotta go back to the east. We gotta climb all the way back up to the top. Try to avoid these ivies if you can. Just save the ammo. And there's really no point in killing them because they'll just come back. Alright. You know what? Might as well go ahead and get the fingerprint door done and over with. So this gives you to access to the uh, staff only area, employee only area. Use the fingerprint and we open the door. For some reason this area has its own theme song. There should be three li oh. Oh no you don't. He might hit me. Yep, he did. Stop it. I want to heal up real quick because uh, we also got a couple IVs to deal with. MG rounds. Those are used for the Uzi. Looks like the remains of a failed experiment. And if you look to our left, I believe that's supposed to be a hunter in those test tubes over here. Remains of hunters. Really not that much in that area. Although I forget what Claire gets. I know Leon gets the MG bullets for the or maybe Oh, never mind, never mind. You'll still get the MG if you go in there. I forgot about that. MG being the uh, micro Uzi you get in the game. Really, dude? Yep, whip me. Do that. Come over here. Get some magnum rounds. 16 magnum rounds. That will come in handy.
But with that, we're completely done with the main area of the lab. Now we gotta go back down the elevator, back into the power room. essentially go back the way you entered. Up we go. Oh. husband i know what you're looking for you came for the g virus didn't you never take it from me this is my husband's legacy now where's that spy you were working with earlier you know who i'm talking about what you really don't know anything do you <laughs> you're so gullible She's one of the operatives sent here by the Agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie! No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. And Mr. X is back. Uh-oh. Come on, go down already. Thank you. More magnum rounds. Elevator's now closed. So now let's head on to the power room. Might as well heal up a bit too. So how much? 66 magnum rounds. I never really showed this thing off, so I think if you can. Oh, it's just an extra clip. No upgrade or nothing. All right, that could go in there because uh, screw that. That's useless. Grab an herb, heal up a bit. Might as well just ditch the shotgun and use the magnum. Honestly, I got... I mean, I got 66 rounds for freaking... Alright. That still didn't heal me. Ah, screw it. There we go. Dude, if you remember that box we pushed earlier, the one that gave me so much trouble. Now we can use it. Gonna climb up. Lead us up here. And up here. I don't think there's anything like down here. Nope. 
Go and get rid of the power room key. Up, he's back. There she is. Ada. Uh, Ada. Leon, please, escape. No. We're a team. I can't just leave you behind. I'm... just... a woman... who... fell in love with you. Nothing more. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. And here we go. I don't need to look at her. I need you to pick up the key sparkling right there. Thank you, Leon. There's the master key. Now let's go get Sherry. I don't need the map. I know where I'm going. Ah, oh, there goes this self-destruct alarm. Do you know you can spend your time here. It won't be until you're in the final area that the uh, timer starts, which is usually, I think, five minutes. You got five minutes to beat the boss and get on the train. And another two to beat Birkin. key in this room and here's where we're going to find Sherry
Oh, so you don't get the magnum rounds. Okay, you gotta wait until freaking... Alright. Or maybe we can. Never mind. <sighs> Use the master key here. Yes, we'll go down. And this will take us down to the train. power supply so we gotta get the power going I recommend you go in the back of the train first the reason why is because of the item box back here the moment you leave the train the timer's gonna start and you ain't got enough time to do this so Stock up all your healing items. I think I got another red and green herb right there. I was going to combine all three of these to make another complete heal. That should be everything. There we go. Sparkling here, platform key. Put that. platform key through there. As soon as we walk through here, the timer's going to start. Five minutes until detonation. Oh boy. I really need to. There's another item box over here. I'm going to climb up here, go across. We need to grab the fuses. It should be over here. They take up two spots in the inventory. Oh, I wonder why. Follow the arrow, come through here. That swipe. And he is really messing me up right now. Here. Use this. A 
Ada, is that you? Ada! Now, heal up a bit. Get around him, grab that rocket launcher. Stereotypical Resident Evil fashion. Blow up the tyrant with the rocket launcher. If you let me do it. There we go. Game over. I think I should talk about the tyrant, like why he mutated. Typically when it comes to more specifically T-103 models, they wear this trench coat limiter. The moment the limiter is destroyed or burnt off in the case of Mr. X, he'll eventually start to mutate, which gives him his final form that we just saw. It's a running theme with uh, tyrants. No matter what you do, they're always going to mutate into a stronger version of themselves. Aside from the RE1 original and the proto tyrant from Resident Evil Zero. I'm gonna take care of these guys. Get back onto the train. Or actually, no, 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 no. Fuck. Forgot about that freaking switch. There it is. All right, now we can leave. Pay no mind to the zombies. They're not really that important. Now if we run over here to this part of the train. Oop. Let's get out of here. We're not done yet. Gonna equip the rocket launcher. What was that? Oh, I like how she still. Oh yeah, she still has her uh, alternate costume. <laughs> Warning: biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. The 
This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. Who puts a detonator on a train? What's wrong? I don't know. The door won't open. All right. Gotta run over here. So now we gotta deal with Birkin's final form. Eventually turns into a giant beanbag monster, but alright. of course and just unload in him with the magnum there we go Let's go ahead and get back to the main controls of the train. Warning. Warning. The self-destruct system has been activated. Each train compartment will detonate sequentially. Repeat. Each oh train no! Compartment will detonate sequentially. Claire! Stop the train! I can't! The door to the control room is locked! What? <laughs> That was the most oh fuck face I've ever seen. So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. And like that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> B scenario gets its own 
like a much better rockin' theme song than A. You like it though. I don't think there's any way to skip the credits though. Nah, there's no way to skip them hitting every button. So, we're just gonna sit back and enjoy the credits for a while. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of that. Just want to see my rank real quick. Come on. A rank. Anyway, ladies and gents, we're not done with the Resident Evil. I still need to. What? Your reward, you'll receive less points by using a special weapon. Check item box. Also, I immediately get that. All right. All right. So I'm not done with Resident Evil yet. I still need to go through Leon A and Claire B scenarios. So we're halfway done. You can play another scenario if you make it new save data. All right. I already know that. Come on. Question, question, question. X battle one. And there's four survivor. Or I guess you need an A rank and a B rank around that. There's the hunk scenario, the fourth survivor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the episode there. We're still not done with Resident Evil. As I said, we still need to go through Leon, A, Claire B, and of course, four survivor. But until next time, if you enjoyed the video, like to subscribe and have a good day.